Hey guys, I just got back from Goodwill. I bought this Apple TV for $2.99. Um, it's a first gen. I almost missed it, and actually my dad uh, found it on the top shelf of the electronic section. And um, yeah, so um, I'm gonna test it. I haven't tested it yet, I just got home. But it looks to be in pretty good condition. There's some uh, residue all over it, but I cleaned that up. It doesn't look to be any deep scratches. So I'm just gonna test this. So this should just use the same cable as my Apple TV 4K, so. It's really dusty, yes. Probably because it hasn't been touched in a while. Okay, it's making noises at me. Okay, it's doing something. I believe it's HDMI 5. Oh, here it is. That's the Apple logo. Okay, so I know I do have a remote for this somewhere. I know these things do have hard drives, and if this hard drive fails, I can just replace it. Um, how do I replace the battery in this? Okay, I thought that was what I had to do. So I have to press this. Okay, I can probably just use like a SIM card tool. I used a screwdriver. Oh, I might have to buy some new batteries. It doesn't even have a battery in it. Seriously? Okay, so I finally got the remote to pair. Um, I ended up getting this aluminum one to work, so let's check out what kind of music this person had. This person was a real Blink-182 fan. They have pretty much every Blink-182 album. So it looks like they were downloading music onto this somehow. But yeah, they have two songs by Fun, and there's a, this is yeah, and some nights, so that's three. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is releasing what, 2012? They have one of my favorite songs, Opposite, Opposite of Adults by Trudy Bang. This is from Meet for Speed, um, Hot Pursuit 2010. Um, yeah, this guy's got a good music taste. And of course they have Cobra Starship. In the settings, it says last checked for downloads 95 months ago, and that was in December of 2013. So, yeah. And it seems to be the 40 gigabyte model, and it was used in somebody's basement. Back when 6 megabits per second was good, and now we get like 500 on Wi Fi. This has got to be the weirdest keyboard I've ever seen. Like, it's not space efficient whatsoever, but it's actually good to type on. Like, if you need to go to, like, lowercase, you literally just go down one. And then you got the numbers below that. That's actually a really good keyboard, surprisingly. So this also had a YouTube app, but it doesn't work anymore. It just gets stuck on loading, no matter what you do. I'm actually very curious to see if this still works. It does not show up as an AirPlay device, but maybe it'll show up as an iTunes speaker, as it says here. So it actually does say right here, ATV Basement, which is the name of it. So let's see if this works. I'm just gonna play this. So yes, it actually does work. It's playing out of the Apple TV for my stereo. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. But it does not, um, let me airplay to the Apple TV, so that sucks. Now I want to just clean this off and, um, probably get these stickers off.
So there is some fun things that I could do with this, like modding it to have Linux or Mac OS, but yeah, it's a really cool machine, and I'm going to keep it as it is, at least for now. Maybe later on I might go and mod it, but I actually really like to have this in my collection. Um, I was actually going to buy one off of eBay uh, from one of my friends, and um, yeah, it's a really nice thing. I'm glad I got it from Goodwill for so cheap, and um, I'm glad it works. And I'm also very glad it has all that music on it, so um, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.